it is 1.16 a.m. in the morning here in Taiwan, and it's time to do another react. Uh, this is My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 7, Episode 17, to change a change thing. Uh, this is a blind reaction. I have not seen it. I've tried to avoid spoilers as much as possible. Um, my biggest fear here is that they are going to have an episode with Queen Chrysalis and reform her, and I really hope that does not happen. She needs to stay evil. It goes against everything the show stands for, but yeah. Okay, enough shit chat. Let's get to the video in 3, 2, 1. Okay, Chrysalis. Straight or, no. to the Changeling Hive. I told you I could do it. Well, not exactly straight, Starlight. We've been popping Starlight and Trixie, all around Equestria, oh and we still have to walk. It's like 12 steps away. Before Chrysalis's throne was destroyed, the closest magic would have gotten us was way over there. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy do you think Thorax is going to be about our surprise visit? Definitely. Too. Oh no. I surprise mean, visit. who wouldn't be happy at the chance to marvel at the overwhelming talent that is the great and powerful Trixie? Trixie, we're coming to offer Thorax encouragement and support. His letters make it seem like the responsibilities of being the changeling leader are a little overwhelming. Yeah, I know. That's basically what I said. Shouldn't they He's send like someone who actually has responsibilities to go redesigning the hive, a dread mall worth wreaking havoc outside? It does sound like a lot, but are you sure that last thing is real? The dread mall worth? Sure it is. What is Thorax that? said it's like half bear, half mole, half raging pile of claws. Now that the changelings what? don't feed on the love of everything around them, plants have started to grow back. I just love the walks like a little bit whenever they have their, their clothes up in the air, they're like, uh huh. <laughs> You're just trying to scare me, but it won't work. Because not only am I the great and powerful, I am also the unscarable Trixie. Every other episode says differently. <laughs> Please tell it's me Thorax also mentioned a terrifying looking changeling who greets visitors but is actually nice. Nope. And I'm not nice. <sighs> oh, so we, do we have a bad change, please? Wow, you stink, Starlight. Starlight. Here. I'll take this home. Teleportation spell. Go. Did I say this? Nope. What is happening? My little pony, my little pony. Oh, I see. They're gonna spend time with this changeling. And reform him, aren't they? Oh, is that the... okay? As long as it doesn't involve changing crystals. Magic makes it all complete. To have my little pony. Oh, okay. Here we go. There's the changeling hive. It looks much better than it used to. What are you oh, is he just for? dragging him the in magic there? To get us out of here. Calm down, unscarable Trixie. We have to find out what's going on. Thorax might need our help. La La we need La our Pen help. La Teleportation spell go. Written by Kevin Lapin. Teleportation spell go. Ah! Teleportation spell Sorry if I got your name wrong. Why Kevin. do you keep doing that? You know it doesn't work that way. I know. But this is my process. <laughs> I captured these trespassers. Starlight! Trixie! It's Whoa. okay, Pharynx. You can let them go. But they were lurking on our grounds! In the old days, I would have already feasted on their love. Well, that's why they're called the old days, because they're old. We don't do <laughs> that. They're old. So his throne room is out in the open. Yeah, I like that. And I like the old days better. What are you two doing here? Okay, so we they're gonna reform to surprise him. you. Surprise! Well, it's Surprise. great to see you. I'm sorry about the welcome committee. <laughs> I thought Ember helped you get more assertive so you could deal with all the renegade changelings who didn't want to change. Oh, yeah. she did. Really helpful. I was able to convince all of them to change, except one of them, my brother. Your brother? Oh. Yep. Pharynx is my elder broodmate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brother. You guys have well, the I guess same... they all are shapes. What a ridiculous comparison. 
We are nothing alike. <sighs> I like the voice acting. Stop this doing that. The hive looked better with holes. Yeah, keep the hive with holes. Don't change everything. Uh, Don't change well, your How about holes. I show you the rest of the hive where it's less loud and bangy? There have been a lot of changes since you were here last. I'm trying open? to start some new activities since the only thing we did before was hunt and patrol. There's theater. Swing dancing. Swing dancing. A once a week potluck lunch. Ooh, and so who can change they eat? and so organize sure. crowd time? Hmm? This guy. I am really impressed, Thorax. The hive, all the activities. No, he did it again. Bering stumped an entire can of black paint on me. He said my fuchsia color wasn't intimidating to our enemies. What enemies? I am so sorry. I promise I'll talk to him. You're the ruler of the hive, Thorax. You need to do more than talk. Well, mm. maybe not everything here is amazing. I like the change to black. Seriously, Thorax, though. what this is, is a up great with your color. brother? Ugh. Barrinks used to be head of patrol, but now we're peaceful and there's no need to patrol, so he just stalks around the hive making everyone miserable. The other changelings are sick of it, and if I can't get them to accept love and friendship and change like the rest of us, everything I've done here is at risk. Wow, this is really interesting. This is kind of like what was going on during uh, World War II, or right after World War II, a lot of the soldiers came back and... Um, Found that you know most of their jobs have been replaced by uh, the women who had started, who were building the planes, excuse me, the cars and the ships and all that, and there wasn't a lot of job opportunities for them. And I mean, their lives have been changed because of war. They were now more aggressive and violent. Well, I mean, not all, but you know, life was different. And I, th I think especially this also happened during uh, after the Vietnam War. The exact same thing happened where they, you know, times had changed and. They didn't fit in. This is this is really interesting. Okay. Uh uh. Uh huh. We know a thing or two about. I hate Trixie, but I love her at the same time. Maybe we could talk to him for you. Do you really think you could help? Thorax, if there's any pony who can help your brother, it's me. And with Starlight helping, it might take slightly longer, but I guarantee you we can do it. <laughs> Thorax, we're ready to start work on the trail of plants to lead them all work away. No, I have to head outside. You're the, sure you're okay? The voices they give these uh, changelings are awesome. <laughs> Can't handle plants. Yeah, we totally got this. <laughs> I like this episode. So, how do you want to play this? I'm thinking good pony, bad pony. You yell and blast him with magic. While my You're not bad huh? charisma will convince him that... Uh, Starlight? Hey, Pharynx! I know when we first met, it, it didn't go so well. I put you in a bag. I thought it went great. <laughs> right. I put you in a bag. So, I thought it went great. I like, like this guy. Rhymes, huh? They're a safety hazard. An enemy could hide in them or use them as weapons. I don't even know why they're here. Because they're pretty? That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, totally. Okay. So, get. I'm not really into Lego. Or, I mean, I, I am into Lego, but not as much as my brother. Them? But he reminds me of Darmadon and the, the only thing I take from you is Lego and Ninjago. My brother used to collect the sets to. and watch the show. You know, you're a lot like us. Doubt it. <laughs> it's true. Do you know who Twilight Sparkle is? No. Well, she's the most well-liked, studious, do-goodiest well pony in Equestria. Ugh, she sounds awful. <laughs> You'd hate her. I used to. She made me <laughs> unsure about my place in the world, which led me to act out against her. And I used to be a dictator who ran a village with an iron hook. Really? Really? Hmm. Maybe you two do understand me. Yes, we do. But now, Trixie has come to terms with being second best. <laughs> and I no longer control ponies against their will. And our lives are so much better for it. Wow, so you're both losers. <laughs> Stay away from me or I'll do to you what I did to the vine. I like this guy so much. Well, Operation Please keep him crabby. The way is coming along. How'd it go with Pharynx? Your brother is, um, 
challenging. She's great. That bad, huh? It wasn't great. You want to talk it out? You can come with me to the feelings forum. The silly what now? Oh, what now? it's a place for changelings to express their feelings so we all gain a better understanding of each other. It's really helped bring the hive closer together. Sometimes I feel like I'm a blue changeling. Sometimes I feel like I'm a purple changeling. But here I am. A green There's a hippie changeling. You can be anything you want to be. Be blue one day and purple the next. Be both on the same day. But then I feel like I'd be living a lie. It's very brave of you to share something so personal. Does anyone else have similar concerns? I used to, but craft time has given me such a creative outlet. I feel great now. Uh, everyone loves craft time. Everyone loves craft time. Yeah. Well, everyone except for you know who. You yeah. know who. You know who spends all his craft time making spears. He's scary and that's, intimidating. That's an you art form, creating spears. That's what kept civili civilization going. Everyone, please. I understand Pharynx can be challenging at times. That's an understatement. He lined the hallway with thorns. He teaches little changelings to growl and hiss. My soup's too hot. What? I thought the feelings forum was for sharing our problems. It sounds like your lame feelings forum is for talking about me behind my back. The feelings forum is for talking about anything the that's for you. Is there anything. something you'd like to share, Pharynx? Uh-oh. Actually, there is. The changelings used to be a fearsome swarm. Now we sit around talking about our feelings so much, you can't even stop a malware from eating all your pretty plants. That sounds, kind of sounds like how conservatives before, feel about but I guess America. We we'll used to be a great nation, and now look at us, we're crying whenever uh, we don't get our way. With him around. I feel safer if you were gone. I can't do that. We we are are uh oh. No. You started democracy. Hey, my soup's cooled down. These feeling forms are great for solving problems. <laughs> Everyone, please. If we are interrupting each other, we are not affirming each other. No, oh, yeah. 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 we yeah. 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 That's yeah. it. Feelings forum is over. There's no other way. No, no other way. I don't know how I feel about, about these change. I mean, changelings, yay, yeah, they have a better I, life now, but. <sighs> yeah, it is interesting. I want to say something, but it goes against everything I've been taught as Twilight's pupil. Uh oh. Ooh, then by all means, say it. <laughs> Trixie, I love you. I think Pharynx is a lost cause. Ooh. I'm all for second chances, third even, but he just seems like a bad bug. You haven't even and given Pharynx him a has chance. A duty to the whole hive, not just his brother. If he keeps sticking up for Pharynx, the Hive might decide they don't want Thorax as their leader. I think he might have to kick Pharynx out, but I don't want to be the one to tell Thorax that. Me neither, but some pony probably should. Well, I nominate you. Oh. <sighs> I nominate you. Oh, snap. Thorax? That's the thing, these change things are, are all, all over the Pharynx, place. Isn't it? Maybe? Look, Maybe? I know he's an aggressive warrior type, but when I was little, every young changeling wanted to be like that. Oh, yay. Oh, look at all these little change things. Every that young comes. changeling, except me. The others would pick on me for not wanting to fight. Look at the little grub playing with his dolly. <laughs> <laughs> It's everyone making fun of bronies. Step away from my brother. But Pharynx never let them hurt me. Aww. <laughs> we were just complimenting his dollies. That's the voice of uh, Snips for Snips. Oh! <laughs> Goodness. But aren't they all brothers Thanks, and sisters? Thanks. Why are you hitting yourself? Well, stop hitting yourself! Why are you hitting yourself? Uh, ouch! But cut it out, Pharynx. They're right, you know. You need to have tougher skin. Aww, Interesting. That was a really sweet story. Until the end. I know it was Pharynx great. Loved it was really cool to see them. Way. And I know they're still good at children. Him. That's why I keep sticking up for him. Marvel. Anyway, what did you want to talk to me about? Uh -oh. Me? Oh, 
No, but uh, Starlight has something she... Actually, Thorax, um, never mind. Come on, Trixie, we've got a thing to do. What are you doing? I thought we agreed you tell Thorax he had to kick his brother out of the hive. Maybe we don't have to. Get Pharynx and meet me at the hive entrance. I'll explain everything. And how am I supposed to know where Pharynx is? I just saw Pharynx. Oh, well that was easy. We'll just use one problem to solve another. I switched the trail of plants around to lure them all work here. The changelings may not be able to stop it anymore, but Pharynx certainly can. When it attacks, right. he'll save his brother, showing every pony his good side. The others will accept him, and Pharynx will finally let love and friendship into his life and transform. <sighs> wow. I know, right? Great idea. Wait, Mr. you do need people He's to gone. protect them. Gone like gone to the throne room? Gone like gone. One of the changelings said Pharynx left the hive for good. Oh, they're all celebrating now. And who's gonna stop the Dread Mole Wurf I'm leading here? <laughs> Way to go, Starlight. Thorax, there you are. Pharynx is missing. <laughs> Wait for it. And the Dread Mole Wurf is coming this way. <laughs> Tell you. That Whoa. doesn't make any sense. The trail of plants should have led the Dread Mall Wharf away. <laughs> I might have relayed them to lead it back toward the hive. Where you, where Why to go, did you Starlight? Do that? I thought if I saw you were in danger, the loving, caring side of him would come out when he protected you. But instead, he's out there alone, somewhere between us and that rampaging monster. I have to save him. I'm coming oh. with you. Of course you are. This is all your fault. Oh. oh, don't be <laughs> too hard on Starlight. Her heart was in the right place. You're coming too. Oh, right. <laughs> I was gonna volunteer anyway. Wow. Who else is coming? This is this is okay. I like this. He's being an actual yeah, leader now. Fine. And he's like actually oh, sure. making them you could all stay here. not suffer not the consequences. But, like... He won't bother you anymore. Oh, it's come on. Your choice. It's, it's when you your duty. Leave choice. them out of this. When you were forced to obey Chrysalis, you might have been unstoppable, but you weren't free to choose. And now you are, because of Thorax. Well, it's his brother out there. And now it's your chance to prove you're just as strong, embracing love as you were feeding on it. Because now it's my it's fault. Your chance to show what changelings can really be. Ooh. Not because you have to, but because you choose. Oh man, she's back into the leadership role again. It's been Starlight. two seasons since we've seen that. A single changeling was missed by it. <laughs> I can't blame them. If he wasn't my brother, I don't think I'd be here. We're gonna have to face the mall work by ourselves. I love Kevin. Or, oh, I forgot your last name, but I like this writer. He's great. Oh, he's already fighting the monster. It's like some wolf. Wow, this is great. What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Get out of here. Let me handle this. We're not leaving you. I like the music. Good job, Anderson. Uh, I may have forgot to mention in my letters that mall warps have really thick hides. Ow! We got bit. Swarm? Not alone! Good thing you're not alone! No! Hey! I told you it was an epic speech. But are they able to What like what's the difference between uh, like former changelings and new changelings when they attack? It's no use. We're out of practice and he's too tough. You don't have singers, you don't have teeth. Checking a rock at him. Stand strong. Too bad you can't get it to fight itself. That's it. Thorax, remember when we were young and I made you hit yourself? Now is not the time to make fun of me, Pharynx. <laughs> oh, right. A 
How are you gonna get it to hit itself? Oh, I see. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Please stop saying that, it's really annoying. That's just mean. Is it gone forever, though? What were you doing out here? Leaving. I'm done with all of you. Oh. It's just, why bother fighting the Maw Wharf, then? You could have left it alone. Well, I couldn't just let it attack you. But I thought you were done Me with care. us, and you didn't care. I never said that. The Hive is the thing I care about most. Well, you certainly don't act like it. Well, I'm sorry if I don't get excited about pretty flowers and feeling circles and... It's a feelings form. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Even if I do care about the Hive, I obviously don't have a place there anymore. Actually, you do. And because we've been wrong, um, the Hive may be a gentler, nicer place. But that doesn't mean we won't have to defend ourselves. Clearly. And who better to help us do that than the only changeling who never stopped protecting us? Aww. See, there is a place for aggressive farming scary? people. Unless no, you kidding. still want to leave the hive. Why would I want that? I love the hive. <laughs> Yay! No, no, please don't. Ch no, don't change. No. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's a different look. He's still a dark really? color. I like because it. Because I thought you said I was a lost cause and you were going to tell Thorax he should kick me out. Uh, uh, oh, Starlight. How could you say that? Uh, <laughs> what? That's... I mean, but you... Lucky for mm. us, you weren't a lost cause. Lucky for me, you didn't give up on me. I, no, I kind of... I, I liked him... I mean, he looks good. He's not like... Oh, no, oh, disgusting. everything worked out. Yeah, let's talk about how you not only led the Maw Wharf to the Hive, but also drove my brother away from it. Oh. I am so sorry about that. But I would like to point out that my admittedly terrible plan did bring everything together in the end. That's the second time, hey, Starlight. Do you guys want to hear the story about how I used to make Thorax hit himself? Oh, absolutely, yes, right now. Well, when we were young, Change every changeling wanted to be a warrior, except for Thorax. He was a little weird. I had to fight him. Aww. Oh. Wow. You know I'm up to it. Is this a diff a song? For the credits? Wow, that's different. Okay. Okay. Wow. So. Okay. I was trying to think. That, that that was a great episode. It was great to see. To see more of uh, how the changelings have are changing and adapting and stuff like that. It's very, very different from. Well, uh, oh, sorry. I'm, I feel like I'm saying the obvious. It's very different from when Chrysalis was in charge. That was a really great message. I I love that. You know that. Although he's uh, pharynx, pharynx is that his name? Uh, although he's kind of he misses the old times because he feels like there's no place for him. And I feel like that's how a lot of uh, a lot of uh, soldiers. And I mentioned this before. A lot of soldiers that come came back during the the war and still do come back after ser serving in the mili military. They feel like there's kind of no place for them because they're they're so different compared to like uh, civilians sometimes, and I just love that you know everyone you know they kind of feel feel like uh, yeah he doesn't fit in with us he's he's too old fashioned there's no place for him here until they realize that oh snap we need him because because this and this and this it really shows that despite what what uh 
the differences of what you believe or how you think or politically and stuff like that, we all serve a purpose. Even those who uh, you disagree with, disagree with, they serve a purpose somewhere in society. Because without them, you, everything may seem fine and happy and dandy without these people, but when something bad happens or this situation happens, you realize that you're stuck in a bad spot without those people. Uh, and I really like to see the the the, bro the relationship between uh, thorax and pharynx. And it's really cool. The I, I love uh, bro brother type relation relationships. And, yeah, I, I really liked that. Um, uh, Star Starlight and um, Trixie. They really. I mean, it's the second time that Starlight's done like gone with what she thinks they should do and it turns out like you made the wrong choice I mean uh, a good example previous example was um, uh, a royal prob royal problem uh, where she switches the uh, the royal sister's cutie marks <laughs> and it backfired but I mean in the end it came it came out to you know to have worked it did the right it did the job but I like that uh, Thorax wasn't just like, oh, you're forgiven, and oh, everything turned out fine, yay. He was still, after the fact, like, angry at them, like, yeah, you did this, and it nearly cost my brother's life. It, like, you ruined things, even though it did work out. Uh, I, I like that. I like to, to see that, you know, just because it works out doesn't mean that you're, you're not going to be, uh, there's not going to be consequences. Uh, for what you did. Oh, I just had another thought. Um, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Oh boy. Yeah. No. And anyways, I, 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 <clears throat> I can't remember what I was gonna say. Uh, I'll think of it later. Yeah, no, this this was a great episode. I'm so glad it didn't have anything to do with uh, changing Chrysalis. I was really afraid that that's what was going to happen. And that, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was afraid that she was going to uh, reform Chrysalis. And I was like, no, when she's, she's a villain that hasn't been reformed yet, let her stay that way. Um, Okay, maybe bring her back, but e even then, that's something that you would do for a season finale, not mid-season episode. So, I'm glad they didn't go that route. Um, I didn't want Pharynx to, to to reform as in the physical sense because I like the changeling look. It's just it was so unique. They had, I mean, they look like Swiss cheese and all that. And I like I liked that. Um, I'm gl I'm glad. I like the way he turned out. He didn't turn out all like bright and sparkly and yeah, you know. I like they still had the gruff voice. He was still a dark color. He had the red antlers. Um, definitely, you can tell he's a type of soldier type insect. I don't even know. They're not ponies. What do you even call them? Goodness, uh, I don't know. But but yeah, no. It was. I'm I'm glad it turned out the way it did. It was a good episode. I, I liked, uh, oh yes, that's what I was going to say. I liked seeing um, the le different types of leadership. Uh, we saw uh, Thorax when his brother was in danger, and the hive was in danger. He stopped being, oh, well, I don't know how. And he was like, no, you did this. Now I gotta go and save my brother. And he was like, it's all your fault. I liked that he was very commanding. And then you got to see Starlight Glimmer bring out her former... Um, dictatorship style pep talk or speech I, li I liked that and I kind of got this you know nostalgic not nostalgic but like this vibe of like ooh it's coming back and I'm of the personal opinion that Starlight isn't fully reformed I, I guess that's I'm sorry this is going off on fan stuff or on like my personal headcanon but I, I just get the sense that she's not fully reformed we, we've seen that she does things on impulse, she does this and that, and there's just little hints that she's not fully changed, exactly. And seeing her, like, bring out her her old uh, authoritative 
voice again was kind of like, ooh, just kind of brought it back to me. But, um, you know, I could just be going nitpicking and stuff like that. Uh, who was the writer again? I absolutely loved his writing style. That was, um, let's see who, who the writer was again. It was Kevin, it was Kevin something? Kevin L Lappin? Lappin? Uh, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, I don't know if he's, has he written for the show before? Uh, Google that really fast. Oh, okay, so he's worked on quite a few comedy shows and stuff like that, but um, he has two credits according to IMBD. Um, he's done to ch uh, this one to change the change thing and Honest Apple. So he's relatively new and both came out uh, this year. He's relatively new to the MLP writing staff and wow. Well done Kevin. Well done. Um, Honest Apple was a, was a great episode and this has been a great episode. I, I Oh, I hope to see more from you. This is great. I like that. All right. Oh, let's see. So, yeah. So I'm I'm kind of at a loss from what else to really think about. Um. Once again, it was great to see the changelings. Uh, I was kind of hoping that Spike would be in this episode because you know Spike is um. Thorax's best friend, but uh, he wasn't there, and I'm ca I mean, I, I guess it's more about you know uh, Starlight and uh, Trixie uh, being uh, neighborly and you know going out to offer help to to Thorax. But I kind of feel like they need to start sending Twilight Sparkle or Luna or Celestia or even Cadence, uh, someone that's actually in a, a like actually knows how to rule a kingdom, which I guess would be Celestia and Luna, uh, or, yeah, you know, all the Alicorn princesses except Twilight, because Twilight doesn't actually do a whole lot of ruling, unfortunately, but um, the rest of them would be great to advise Thorax. We need to see them giving uh, Thorax more advice, instead of him going to all these other ponies or dragon that don't have any experience. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, th this was great. I, I loved this episode. Um, I, I guess may maybe uh, Discord could could have shown up because I mean he was. I guess he's not on friendly, like he's not friends with any of these characters. But he's he was with them when they uh, defeated Chrysalis, albeit he was stuck in a little thingy uh, cocoon thing. But uh, no, uh, he was still like part of the. Tr the troop, so it would have been cool to see him there too. And he, I think he would have been able to understand um, Pharynx a little bit better because Discord is still, although he's not a villain, he's still an antagonist. I guess you could say he's Twilight's main antagonist. Uh, always antagonizing her. So um, he's still somewhat uh, misunderstood, I think, by a lot, of, a lot of the ponies. So I think he would have been a, a great match, uh, to, you know, to hang out with uh, Pharynx. Yeah, that that was great, and I, I kind of wish we could have seen a little bit more, uh, like in that in the flashback, seeing the changelings as uh, larvae, uh, yeah, baby changelings. It would have been nice to see a little bit of uh, chrysalis in there, just to see what kind of a mother she she was. And when you think about it, all the changelings are brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? Because they all come from chrysalis. Unless, like, there's, like, different queens, and they just keep all the different children from each... I, I don't know how that works. I avoided watching all those documentaries with bees and ants because I am terrified of those things. They scare me. Ugh. But, um... But, 
Yeah, so I guess they're all siblings, just uh, thorax and pharynx must share like that that very close sibling bond. So yeah, yeah, this is a great episode, and I, I've said that before already, but I can't really think of anything else to add except great job, Kevin. Great job. Uh, keep it up. So let's see. Um, so we have about six more days. I, well, pretty much seven here in Taiwan, but uh, another week before the next episode comes out, and I'm not sure what it's titled. I'm gonna try and avoid the title. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any suggestions on how I can uh, make the next reaction video better, please uh, leave a comment below. Like this video, uh, subscribe, um, yeah, thank you so much, and once again, uh, God bless, and cheers!